looking at GC1, uh, the very first standard uh, worksheet one, and it introduces the idea that all circles are similar. Now, similar is not a new topic to us. We've already talked about similar shapes and polygons, similar triangles. We've looked at proving things to be similar. And what we learned in uh, those cases is if you're trying to establish two things to be similar, you're going to use similar transformations. So what we learned is that if you're trying to prove two triangles are similar, or if you're trying to prove two hexagons to be similar, that you want to map one onto the other using the similarity transformations. Now the similarity transformations keep the um, angles and the shape the same. And those are the rotation, the reflection, the uh, translation, and of course the one you'd expect, the dilation. This group is a body of motion. Uh, they are able to keep the shape the same, proportional, and maintain the angles. Now circles are a little bit different. They don't have angles, those types of things do them. But the concept would be the same. Can I map uh, one circle onto the other using only these guys here? Now there are different ways to do this. Um, you can maybe see that I could find a point to a center of dilation out here and dilate this guy onto that guy. It's doable that way for sure. A way I'll show you that, that might be a little bit simpler is to do uh, two transformations. So maybe first we translate by uh, vector AB. In other words, Let's slide this guy over to here. And when that happens, we get circle A sitting uh, right about here. Okay. A prime, I guess, circle A prime because it's, uh, it's moved value. Now when two circles share the same center as these do, that term is called concentric. Two circles using the same center are concentric circles. Now the last motion uh, to perform, the second motion, will be a dilation by point B because we've mapped our A over to our center B. So we would do a dilation about B and we would need a scale factor. Now the scale factor is tricky here. I didn't put numbers here. Maybe it would have been easier if I had put numbers. You'd know what it is. But partly I'm doing it on purpose. A scale factor is a scale factor is always the image over the pre-image. And what that means to you and I is what I want to become and what I currently am. So I just slid A over here, and I want to become the red circle. So I want to become a Y value, but I'm currently an X value. So this is kind of abstract a little bit. Um, it would have been easy if this was a 4 and this was a 2. That would have been nice. But, but the point is, is it's always the image value, whatever you wanted to become, divided by what you currently are. A translation followed by this dilation would map it perfectly. Now because of time I'm not going to spend uh, too much thought on this but I want to tell you and it's a part of the worksheet is I could have taken the red one brought it over here dilated it about A instead of B and maybe shrunk it down so uh, a, a reduction uh, of a scale factor or I could have brought this over and I could have uh, dilated um, instead of in this case I probably I should have said we we're dilating circle you know, A prime, we brought it over and then dilated it by that. We could have taken B and shrunk it down to match onto A prime. Any of those would work, lots of different options. And you'll see that this is quite a simple idea, but we established that all circles are similar. Let me show you what I did on the board just by technology, just to give you a sense of the variability of it. I, I've just got some pretty random circles here. This got a 
radius of 1.73. This has got a radius of 3.83. That's not going to matter, though. Just watch. So the idea that I was trying to hint at is the first thing that you want to do is um, we're going to create a translation from A to B. So in this program, we, we mark that vector. In other words, we want to go from here to here. And then we say, let's go translate that. And from A to B, and notice it slid it on over right where I want it. Now the next thing is I'm going to dilate the little guy to, to map onto the big guy. That's always, um, again, what I want to become, which is this number, divided by what I currently am, which is this number. So what this program does is we calculate that ratio. So we take what I want to become, my image, and I'm going to divide it by my uh, by my pre-image and it creates that value and what I'm going to do is, is what I, I mark that as my scale factor which is perfect so in this program I say I need to dilate it by this center B and I'm going to dilate that circle and actually I don't need to do the line or that point I'm going to dilate this circle by that scale factor and you watch what happens I'm going to dilate it and by that scale factor, and bam, it lands right on the nose. Now again, um, you can back this up a little bit, and you could do it differently. And I'll just I want I'll show it to you that way a little bit differently. Let me get rid of that filled region, and I'm going to flip over to this guy. I'm going to fill it in. So here's what we're going to do this time. We want to go from B to A. So I'm going to do a uh, mark of vector going that way. And then I'm going to move this big old circle by that translation. Landed it right on the spot. Now, what's a little bit different here is I want to become this size, even though I'm this size. So I'm going to do what I did before, calculate. But this is what I want to become this time, divided by what I currently am here. Creates this, and I'm going to mark that as my scale factor. And I'm going to dilate by A this time, not by B, but by A. I'm going to select that region. Um, and I don't need this circle or this line or this point to do anything either. But I, I've got this circle ready to go. I've got my scale factor of reduction. And now if I dilate that down, it will land it. And there it is. It landed right there. Maybe while I've got it selected, I'll quickly go give it a dark color so you can see it landed. So I brought it over. This time the translation went this direction. And then you notice I had a different scale factor and a different center for my dilation. Cool stuff. It's a simple idea. But the fact that these circles are similar becomes an important thing later.